This is number three in my Super Bowl list for 2023. It, it could have gone higher, but I, I'm going to share why it is absolutely well-deserving for number three. A brilliant brand play, and this is the best example of how to use celebrity in an ad. Let's cut to it because this is genius. Let's have a look at Dunkin' Donuts and Ben Affleck. Welcome to Dunkin', a new special. Dunkin' run, medium or large coffee, you get a donut for an incremental dollar. Well, well, like, how can it be this inexpensive and good? Cream, no sugar. I'm just gonna have to just give you 10 munchkins. You look a little lost. One second, I'm trying to find the bagels. Do I look familiar? Oh. Should I be in it or you want to just want this you. a self-portrait? What are you doing here? Curse me, if I Is like this what you do when you say you want to work all day? I, I gotta go, guys. Grab me a glaze. Now, I'm typically not into celebrity ads. The reason is most celebrity ads hero the celebrity and they do more to enhance their profile than the brand. And most people can't recall the brand. So if we look at Jesse Pinkman and Walter White, now number five, that is exactly what happened. The reason it made my top five is because we're talking about in-store media to remind and refresh to build semantic memory. That is one strategy. I love this version better because the brand features 32 times throughout the ad. It is the hero, all of Ben's humor, which came through in a really thick Boston accent. And this was live. This was, he had some material scripted, but it was all off the cuff and people even snapping it and seeding it earlier. Like this is brilliant content. It was really authentic. Um, so this is how you use celebrity well. Celebrity plays second fiddle and they use their humor and, and their skills to hero the brand. Now, now, in terms of celebrity selection, we have four criteria that we use when we're looking at Celebrity Anchor. This is from Nike and literally all, this is the playbook of how you select celebrity and they have crushed it. They literally got a 10 in all four of these criteria. What did they do so well? For those that you don't know, Ben Affleck is often seen carrying around Dunkin' Donuts to the point this is meme city. There are that many photos online of Ben either sipping a Dunkin' Donuts coffee and iced coffee or he's juggling his mail with donuts and, and a coffee and other bits and pieces. But literally all the time you can see Ben Affleck strolling around with Dunkin' Donuts branded product. He even says himself, I, I eat Dunkin' Donuts every day. You couldn't get a more authentic brand ambassador or celebrity for your business. Then they had a stunt the stunt where you put him in bedford massachusetts you know with this thick boston accent and he's just riffing these one-liners that are just genius that are that are heroing dunkin donuts because he loves the product it was a real shoot it was live content and in january people were even putting on their instagram you know just got served by ben affleck but this was seeded again it's got this virality about it that's why is Ben Affleck got a new job working at Dunkin' Donuts? And then the clincher at the end is, is J-Lo, grab me a glaze. Got key lesson number one, difference between semantic and episodic memory. Episodic is one exposure, semantic is multiple, which is why frequency is really important. That's why you want a celebrity to feature often. Uh, George Clooney Nespresso, he's been there for a long time. Semantic memory, you anchor yourself to that brand on, on regular occasions. Every time I think Ben Affleck, I think Dunkin' Donuts. And that's where you win. Every time I think Dunkin' Donuts. I think Ben Affleck is a high status creature or herd animal. I look up to him. I trust his advice and guidance. Hmm. I feel like a Dunkin' Donut. The more you visit Dunkin' Donuts, the more that embeds to behavior and habit. And as soon as you got a habit, Ben Affleck buys it every day. He has a habit and he won't break that habit without considerable effort. Second key lesson is we want to hero the brand, not the celebrity. The celebrity helps the brand. The brand has to be the hero. And that's where where this spot wins. It is a brilliant example of how to run Celebrity Anchor. Huge, huge kudos. Absolutely love this in terms of setting it up. It was just Ben Affleck is all you had to pay for and a stunt. Uh, so far, far more effective, but I'd hate to think of what he, what he charged, but this is perfect work. Dunkin' Donuts and whoever the creative agency that pulled this together, full votes. 